Hi, I'm Jonathan with My Tree Climber. On behalf of myself and TCIA, I want to welcome you to the quick reference video of active movement for bucket workers. This is one of four different categories of workers in the tree care industry that we're doing an active movement video for. This is the conditioning warm up before you get to work. Uh, this is part of our series, Stay Sharp, Five Branches of Tree Worker Health and Fitness. SHARP is our acronym that reminds us that uh, health and fitness is more than just working out. It's holistic. The S is stretching and warm up. The H is hydration and nutrition. The A is active movement. And the R is rest and the P is perspective. Since this is a quick reference video, I'm just going to show you the mechanics of each conditioning warm up. Go to the video library for the participation video. <clears throat> The first one we're going to do is the kettlebell swing. If uh, you've got a kettlebell, use that. If you just have dumbbells, I cross over the dumbbells and cross the fingers. And the mechanics for the kettlebell swing, you want to bend your legs slightly. You want to keep that lower back straight. And as you swing down, you're keeping the back straight. Don't let your back arch or drop. Protect that lower back. And you're pushing forward with your hips, squeezing your glutes and your hamstring. Feel a little stretch in your hamstring on the way down and push your hips forward. That works your hamstrings and your glutes to support your lower back. Okay, the second one is reverse butterfly. <clears throat> We're gonna do this from the standing position. So we are leaning out over our one foot here and our other foot goes back. Keep your back straight, trying to get to about 45. Pull up, just arms extending up the shoulders. You can hold at the top there and you're keeping that back straight, you're squeezing the back muscles together. That's what's really working this here, uh, getting that lymphatic system going in the glands. The third one is the bend over row. Same type of body position, switch the feet, 45 or better, and we're pulling up like this now. If you're working out of a bucket, you're often lifting, bending over like that. Want to practice that good um, posture, keeping that lower back straight. Not bending over. All right, the fourth, we're gonna go down for the dead bug. And when we do the dead bug, we're working our core. Press that lower back into the floor. Tighten that core, keep that firm as you're extending. And we're extending the left arm up and the left knee up, and then alternating. And so you can point your, heel, your toes up towards your knees and keeping that lower back into the floor. All right, so that's a good core workout. It's a good cross core workout. And then number five is the inverted dead bug. So you're going same type of mechanical movement, except you're using gravity to give you the reverse workout. It's a good way to stay balanced because you're going both sides. Same muscle group. This is getting those lower back muscles, getting the hamstrings. Okay, so get some variety, jump back up for the arm raises. And when you're working out of a bucket, you're extending your arms a lot. So you wanna make sure you're really taking care of those shoulders. So palms down, alternating, keeping that core tight. Again, practicing that lower back posture. Then come up to the sides. I also like to do the invert to the hammer position. That works slightly different muscles in your shoulders. You really want to warm all those muscles up in those shoulders and the sides so when you get some weight on them they're ready for it okay so that was just some quick variety of jumping up now we're going back down to the floor and we're doing the lateral leg lift so you're putting your hip perpendicular to the floor <clears throat> slightly bent under leg and toe up towards your knee and lifting as high as you can and holding that doing that a couple times. This muscle right along here is a stability muscle for the pelvis and lower back. So it may seem like a wimpy move, but this is really helping your core and stability. All right. And then the eighth is the bridge. So you're gonna lay on your back. You're gonna press your heels into the floor and then squeeze your glutes, squeeze the lower back and hold that bridge position and 
then back down. You're gonna do that a few times. You can add set weights on your hips if you want a little bit more pressure. And that gets that lower back and then the quads and the glutes. Okay, so number nine is actually a stretch. Just grab an old t-shirt and we are doing a hamstring stretch. But we're gonna lay on the, on the ground, pressing that lower back into the floor again because this is a good way to make sure you're isolating your hamstrings and not stressing your lower back as you stretch. If you do this from a standing position, sometimes you can stress that lower back. Okay, so you just straighten your leg and by pulling down on your toe, you are really stretching everything out from your calves to your hamstrings, all the way down to your glutes and lower back. And you wanna watch your breathing, let your breathing work out with your stretches there. With all the moves we are doing, we're working those hamstrings, so putting a move in here to stretch the hamstrings is really important. Keeping your hamstrings loosened and stretched really helps if you have lower back pain, your hamstrings may be too tight. Okay, for our 10th one, we're gonna lay on your stomach. We're gonna do the Superman. And Superman is you just lift your hands up and your feet up and lower back down. You're firing your glutes and your hamstrings and your lower back muscles and back down. And you can point your toes up towards your knees for a little bit of a different feel in your feet. Um, and if you need a lower impact version, you can alternate kind of like the inverted dead bug and you're lifting right hand, left leg, left hand, right leg, and hold that. So that's Superman. So a lot of those moves are just focused on the lower back and the upper back and the hamstrings because that is what you're working a lot. And you want to make sure you also get those core workouts from the dead bug and even some crunches. Um, all right. Thanks for joining us today. Hope that helps you get some uh, good mechanical ideas of what you can do for your conditioning warm-ups if you're working from a bucket. All right, remember, stay sharp and you can enjoy a long career in the tree work industry. Have a great day.